Hello there, this is Father Ken Lau and welcome to a new episode of Nuggets for the Soul. Uh, in the last episode, I talked about the devotion to um, the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So if, if it's your first time to uh, follow me, you, if you may want to uh, watch that uh, Nuggets for the Soul video that I've made about uh, the devotion to the Sacred Heart. Now I'm going to talk more specifically on how to make have this devotion to the Sacred Heart. So Jesus asked Saint Margaret Mary Alacoque um, to have this nine First Friday devotion, and this is his promise to Saint Margaret Mary Alacoque. Uh, he said, Jesus said, "I promise you, in the excessive mercy of my heart, that my all-powerful love will grant to all those who receive Holy Communion." on the first Friday for nine consecutive months, the grace of final repentance. They shall not die in my disgrace, nor without receiving the sacraments. My divine heart shall be their safe refuge in that last moment." Okay, so how to complete the first Friday's devotion? Uh, as as, as uh, Jesus stated already, we need to receive Holy Communion on each first Friday. The nine Fridays must be consecutive, okay? Uh, and they must be made in honor and in reparation to his sacred heart, okay? So I, I know right now um, uh, people um, couldn't go to church, maybe they're afraid of, 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 of the coronavirus. Uh, you could still fulfill this by doing an act of spiritual communion on the first Friday of each month. Uh, also, Jesus revealed to St. Margaret Mary Alacoque 12 promises to those who practice devotion to his sacred heart. Okay, the first one, I will give them all the graces necessary for their state of life. Two, I will establish peace in their families. Three, I will console them in all their troubles. Four, they shall find in my heart an assured refuge during life and especially at the hour of their death. Five, I will pour abundant blessings on all their undertakings. Six, sinners shall find in my heart the source of an infinite ocean of mercy. Seven, tepid souls shall become fervent. Eight, fervent souls shall speedily rise to great perfection. Nine, I will bless the homes where an image of my heart shall be exposed and honored. 10. I will give the priests the power of touching the most hardened hearts. 11. Those who propagate this devotion shall have their names written in my heart, never to be effaced. 12. The all-powerful love of my heart will grant to all those who shall receive communion on the first Friday of nine consecutive months, the grace of final repentance. They shall not die under my displeasure, nor without receiving their sacraments. My heart shall be their assured refuge at that last hour." Okay, so wonderful. And of course, the Lord is not guaranteeing that those who do the nine First Friday devotion will go straight to heaven. Okay, he's, he's not promising that. He said, you know, we need to uh, be in the state of grace as we do this, okay? And uh, uh, also, um, the, the goal of the nine, nine First Friday devotion is not, it's not just for us uh, to receive these promises that Jesus uh, uh, is, is giving us, okay? The goal of doing this nine, nine First Friday devotion is so that we will be able to uh, experience the great love of Jesus for each and every one of us, okay? And uh, uh, so that the love that we experience will transform us and that love will overflow to the people uh, that we interact or we meet every day in our lives, okay? Uh, so the goal of having this sacred uh, devotion to the sacred heart is so that we would keep on asking Jesus to give us his sacred heart, okay? Because on our own, we will not be able to love others uh, well, okay? We, we all know that. We're weak, you know, uh, so we need his, his heart. We need his heart, and, and it's possible. He, you know, he could really transform our hearts um, 
uh, to give us His heart, you know, so that we will be able to love uh, others, even those uh, our enemies. Okay, so uh, practice this uh, nine First Friday devotion and see how it will really transform your heart and your life and your relationship with others. Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you. Mm -hmm.